So this is what we're trying to do, right? Uh, how do you get uh, 360 degrees uh, visibility on your activity using BZ reports? Because um, you know BZ about uh, adding tasks, uh, creating notes, and managing, I would say, task lists. But now uh, we have a very, very powerful dashboard available in the system. And we built it to give you 360 degree visibility on your activity. And that's what I'm going to show uh, today. OK, um, I'm going to start with the current issue that we've been uh, issues that we've uh, seen when tracking progress uh, in today's world. Um, I'm going to show you then how you can build reporting using BZ. It's a demo and then a small a few example of where we're going to go uh, in our roadmap in, in the coming in the coming three months. OK. OK, three problems we've been uh, seeing. First one is we leave and the work is uh, the, 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 in the world we live in, uh, in at work is, is more collaborative and more distributed than ever. Uh, with COVID-19, obviously, remote work is part of the, uh, the new game, right? So uh, teams are distributed everywhere. Uh, people are working from home and some are at are, are the office. And still, we need to be able to work, discuss, exchange, plan the same way we would be doing if we were all at the office, right? So that's the first big change there that, that have been going on in the last 18 months. Obviously, there are still cross-functional work, matrix organization, where you need to get information on different people in the organization and, and track plenty of activities everywhere. All of these combined means that the information is spread and, and it takes more time to understand what's going on and, and track things. Second issue, of course, is information is spread in so many different tools and in so many different type of activities, emails, calls, in, um, uh, instant messaging, meetings, all of those type of activities we have on a day-to-day -day basis, it's all stored and spread in so many different tools that um, it's very difficult for us to get a clear view of what's going on just because information some pieces in email some pieces are in teams some pieces are in one note and at some point you don't have a global view of what's going on so how do we solve this how do we bring all this together and next step is the next issue is and that's the beginning of our conversation in more is we live in in a world of emergency uh, the world is spinning faster and faster uh, we, receive, we receive more and more information, and 57% of team managers are saying they're stressed and they don't take time, they don't have time to take a step back with their team. So what that means is that people are running and they don't even have time to get off the wheel and stop running to start dis uh, discussing and thinking about, is this the right wheel? Should we have a wheel or should we have something else? You see what I mean is they don't have time to think about what they're doing and why they're doing it because they're running all the time. So they're stressed and, and then don't take a step back to, to think about the way they're doing things. So we said, OK, we need to build something in BZ um, to help solve those issues using custom reports into the tool. The idea is to address several points. One is to be able to easily create and share a vision of the team's goals. Because uh, giving a purpose and, and explain to people why we're doing things by sharing the goals and, and the action plans, it's a way to um, give autonomy to people and, um, and, and, and give them some sense of responsibility to the team action plan. So creating a shared vision was important for us. Um, at some point for a manager, you still need to build a global view of everything that's going on because it's spread across different people. That's the first point. And it's spread in so many different tools. So you need to somehow be able to gather everything in one place and have a global view of what's going on. And that's what we will build with, uh, uh, with BZ. And at some point, uh, once you've done the two first step, the, 
the real idea is to give you insight of on what's going on and and be able to see things that you would have wouldn't have been able to see before uh, so that you can make better decisions because um, um, if if you have your information spread uh, on so many different populations and so many different tools it's hard to take a good decision because you always have only part of the information to take the decision. And the idea of those custom reports is to, to have a, a, a more global view on things so that you can take better decision. Okay, let's move to the demo. What does it mean? I'm gonna to switch to busy. And I'm gonna show you how you can define views inside the tool and how you can really easily see what's going on. So this is my uh, current dashboard. Let me uh, yes refresh because uh, I switched to English so that it's easier for you to see. This is the busy dashboard, right? The current one. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've been playing with this one. Have you been using this one? No. Um, first time okay. to see for me. Uh, is it a special way? So I, I have my iPad beside here to me and when I open it um, it looks on the left hand is the calendar then below are so uh, this point this, on the right side is the okay the, 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 the iPad is perfectly fine on a day-to-day -day basis but the um, uh, custom view and reporting uh, part is only available on the on the website ah, because, okay, because, okay. Be, because the idea is when you need time to think on decisions and, and take a step back. Um, it's okay because you're probably at your desk and you have your computer and, and so you and it's easier to make all the um, analysis there and all the shortcuts, okay? Um, doesn't mean that at some point it won't be available on the iPad, but uh, at the moment it's, it's only available on, on the website. Okay. Okay, but it's still a good thing for you to know because Obviously, you did not check on the website, and and uh, and so it's interesting that you know it's here. Absolutely, yes, very good. Okay, the idea of this uh, report is to be able to understand what's going on in your activity uh, with just a quick glance, and it's very easy. So, how do you handle this? You go in the dashboard, you select project report. You can select. Uh, you can select a time period. So let's move to plus minus 30 days. You can select a person, a specific person, and you can select a, all the project, a specific project, a goal, which is a collection of projects, or you can even search for a, a list of projects. Okay? Okay. So it's very powerful because here, so I'm showing 30 days of work for everybody in the team on all the projects that the team is involved on in those 30 days. And what you can see is, a, is a, a breakdown of where we spend our time as a team. And this breakdown is then split into progress report for each and every um, uh, for each and every project. I can scroll down. So I have a view on all the projects that we're involved in. And it's giving me a view of where we're late and where we're on time, where we've been achieving things and where we did not achieve anything. And you and me with a quick glance can very easily understand where we need to put our focus on, right? Yeah, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, inbox or clients. Oh, there's 10 action late. Oh, leads, there's 13 action late. And so it's very easy using the custom views to um, manage your activity instead of going into each and every detail of each actions. If you look at this report, I currently, I'm currently showing 427 actions. If I had a list like in BZ, it will be unmanageable for my brand, right? Because 427, uh, nobody can process 427 in uh, in 10 seconds, right? It takes time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where, whereas this view is clearly uh, showing me 
what's most important for me. So uh, 36 late action in inbox is definitely important. And I need to check that. Here I have 10, 13 and 12 action. Maybe I want to click on those 12 action because I have three on time, 12 late. And the good thing about this custom report is that it can definitely help me zoom on what's going on on those 12 actions. So even though I still have a, a great overview on things, I can always zoom in on the important stuff. So 3, 3 equals 6, plus 4 equals 10, equals, and plus 2 equals 12. So I can really see what's going on on the 12 actions I've been clicking on for this project. Okay. But the great thing is, it's even better. It, you can zoom in here and say, okay, I want to click on BNP. Uh, BNP is not a good one, so I'm going to uh, click on this one. So this one is our uh, team meeting, right? Mm -hmm. When I do this, uh, you can see that BZ is showing me who's involved on this project and who has action and where they are. So you can see David, Dina, and Jean-Charles, they all have one late action. So it's really, really powerful because in just by clicking, it's also automatically displaying the relevant information. And I can see here, I'm clicking on clients. I, I can see here I am on time. Chris has six action late and Jerome has three late actions. Okay. Let's move one step. This is what you should be looking at on a weekly basis, right? So, so that you don't spend all your time in busy looking at tasks, but at some point you look at activities and, and business. And to be able to do this in busy, you can make links to those views. The first way to make links to those views is to create views inside busy. So you would be able to create views that are showing this. So, for example, if I'm going to my view, I can say, oh, I want to look at, uh, okay, let's a uh, goal. I want to look at my sales goal and I want a dashboard, which is a project report for, uh, I want a project report by project uh, for plus minus 30 days on plus minus 30 days uh, for everyone. And I'm going to add a tab. And when I do this, I just built a custom dashboard pre-configured to look mm -hmm. as a project report for 30 days for everyone concerning the sales goal. And you can see here it's breaking down. You remember I had a big list of projects when I showed everything? Mm -hmm. now, now I have a list of only six projects that are all sales related. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So it's that kind of a dedicated uh, project report on sales. And I can do several things with that. The first thing I can do is I can bookmark this into my, um, okay, I'm, I'm gonna rename this. Okay, let me rename this. I have here, up, uh, dashboard, up. okay, busy, dashboards, okay. So, sorry, I'm switching in English so that uh, in, the, in the recording I'm making it's it's meaning it's meaningful. So first thing I can do with this view I created is one is bookmark it in my busy dashboards. Okay. Mm -hmm. when, when I do this, I now have in my busy dashboard a, a, a graph rep a report on these cells. Every time I'm clicking on it, it's bringing me here. I have several others, for example, for Chris, I have uh, uh, action lights uh, for 30 days, action lights, action for seven days. I have a, a graph dashboard for Chris, so I'm going to click on this one and look. Project report plus minus 30 days about Chris for all my projects, so it's showing at different things. So I bookmark this so that I can easily have access to the relevant information when I'm managing Chris or when I'm managing my sales activity. Every time, different view and different mindset. That's the first thing I can do. Second, okay. thing, second thing I can do is I can do the same 
inside a Teams page. So if I'm going, for example, I have a Teams team that's talking about sales, okay, where I have a general conversation with all the people involved in sales in the business. I created specific tabs that are doing exactly the same directly in the Teams conversation. So if I'm clicking here on TDB, which is basically meaning dashboard in French, when I'm clicking on it, what I will get is an access. Yeah, I'm not logged in because I restarted my, my Teams in English. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. Um, okay, let's, uh, that's why, so, oops, hold on, I'm just reloading because first time it's logging in, it's not uh, passing through the parameters. Um, and look what I'm showing. Project report plus minus seven days for everyone on sales. So I created another view in my Teams that allows everybody involved in the sales organization to have access in the Microsoft Teams part in this in the sales conversation on a sales dashboard and only on the sales dashboard so even though you remember I sh i've shown earlier on that if i show everything for everyone for all the project i have access to 427 actions right unmanageable I, yeah. but if i'm in sales and, and i'm involved in the sales part and i want to know what's going on in the sales part I'm going down to 49, much more manageable. And if you look at this, if I'm involved in sales, the only thing I would do is click on the five here to know what's going on and why it's late. So I'm going to click on five and busy will display the five late sales actions. Okay. Right. Okay. Cool. The last thing you could, the last way you can use these uh, dashboards is uh, let me go back there so remember this uh, sales dashboard if i click the url and i copy it i can create a meeting in my agenda a recurrent meeting so let's say i want to have a, a sales business review every monday afternoon at 2 p.m i'm going to do sales business review i'm going to generate a recurrent meeting so sorry it's in french but here i'm just saying it's a weekly recurrent meeting i could add some invites like dina for example okay and all the rest of people and i would just put a link here about this busy graph report and when i do this everybody in the team has a weekly meeting for the sales business review and everybody in the team has access to a specific sales dashboard when when they click on it it's loading the sales dashboard so that everyone has the same view and the same goal the same action plans we track and the same achievement and progress report we track is this making sense yes good uh, looks really good thanks um, so now I'm done with my demo. Uh, I'm, I'm going to move to where we're going from now. Where are we going? Um, maybe I can just raise a question here. I yep. uh, opened uh, my um, Safari and I have busy open. And I, when I when I click on, oh, I get the same dashboard, this uh, uh, normal one where I have important, not urgent, important, urgent, and so on, but not this what you see here. So yeah. maybe you have an idea how to. Yeah. Uh, so you're you're on like something like this. Uh, yes. And the way to display the project report is when you see here the, is there is a sentence that's written show, open action, and when you click on the open actions, yeah. there is project report done. Ah. Okay. Now and, this makes and, and more now, sense. now I have exactly, it. Ha. Exactly. Okay. okay. Very good. Thanks a lot. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> quick, quick thing. Quick thing for you, Ilmar. It's clickable as well, so you can remove things if necessary. Okay. Okay. And so, if you want to look at just overviews, 
you can remove ongoing and complete, for example. And and in the next release for tomorrow, it will be sorted in the correct order. Okay, okay. where where are we going from now? Um, first thing is, instead of going to my views to build the views, the next step is. So I'm going to show you because it's it's going to be uh, live tomorrow. Uh, it was supposed to be today, but we had we had some uh, last minute uh, hiccups. <laughs> so so which which can happen. So so that's okay. Um, okay. So I have the same dashboard. Nothing different from from what you saw, huh? except here it's a dev uh, development uh, account. So I have much less information here, but that's okay. Uh, uh, it's no worries. It's it's still working. So the first step we've been doing is that every time now I will be doing some filters um, uh, here, for example, I will have a button for, with a link. And when you click on the button, it will be copied to your clipboard. So you can uh, use uh, the URL directly. Huh? So you can save it to uh, an agenda or or generate it in a, in a, in a, in a bookmark. Okay? Very simple. Okay. okay. Um, that's the first step. Where are we going from now? I'm going back to my presentation. The roadmap, where is it going? Um, here is what we uh, will uh, provide in the coming month. Uh, in November, um, between mid-November and end of November, you will be able to drag and drop widgets to customize your project reports. Okay, so uh, currently, uh, the, the format is fixed. Uh, the, the way it's displayed and, and, and the order in which it's displayed is fixed. In November, you will be able to move everything around on the dashboard so that you can have the relevant information first. Okay. Mm -hmm. In December, we will let you customize views um, and create new views directly within BZ. So you can save directly in BZ and not as a bookmark, the views. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in January, we will let you customize the widgets themselves by adding widgets or removing widgets from the reports. So obviously we have some examples of what's going on. So this is saving a project report. So when you save a project report, what you will save is you will save the list of widgets and you will save the filters for those widgets. So saving a view and the way it's displaying the information. Okay. And you can okay. see here that at the top, you will have several different available views that you can save directly within BZ. The idea being that you don't need to create bookmarks in your browser, but you can directly do those views inside BZ. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's the first step. This is uh, December. Then okay. you, will, you will be able to create new dashboards. Okay? Uh, the, current, the current dashboard is, is predefined. Now you will be able to create dashboard using widgets. So you will be able to select different type of widgets, okay? And be okay. able to select what kind of information and how you want to filter it inside the dashboard. Keep in mind that it's combining itself with the previous one. So since you will be able to save dashboards, you will be able as well, oops, uh, hold on. Uh, uh, no, I, I cannot pause. Uh, sorry, but you see here, it's a different widget. You, you, for example, task by resource. You have some overview of how people are, are are going. So you're creating from scratch. Tomorrow there will be dashboard templates. Uh, basically, like I said, you you're adding widgets. So you, there will be several type of widgets available, obviously, and you will be able to completely create your own dashboard. What I want to do is pose on, on an example of a new dashboard to show you how different it can be from today. Uh, you, you will be able to select the size uh, mm -hmm. so that you, 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 you control the way it's displayed. Here it is. And you can see compared to what we have today, 
It's a complete different way of reorganizing the information. Same data, the data mm -hmm. is the same in the busy database, but completely different way of organizing things. So here I have a, a, a resource dashboard of my team where I know exactly who's on time and who's late. So probably I will uh, spend more time with Brian because he's, he's late, whereas all the other people are, are, are on time, mostly, uh, maybe uh, uh, Ryan as well. Here I have a task achievement by project where busy is ranking uh, which project is on track and which project uh, looks like at risk or off track. Small KPI is consolidated based on, on what's going on with the team. So completely different than the other way of looking at things. Okay, so this should be available end of December, beginning of uh, January. And then okay. the next evolution will be to create different tab views inside of dashboard so that you're looking at the same information, so same filter, but different way of showing it. So I'm going to press play. Oh, okay. So this is one way of showing things, but maybe you want to be able to do eyes on aware matrix, timeline view, or calendar view, and you will be able to create new views. So basically those views are just a way of displaying the information. So okay. your current view, your current view is basically okay, I need this and this on, on this project and on these people. And and those views, those tab views, it will be templates to display the information in another way. So for example, here we will create a timeline view. And so with the same filters, I will dis, oops, sorry. I, sorry, I'm, uh, I, I, I clicked the wrong button. That's okay. But with so with the same, sorry about that. With with the same filter, I will display the same information, but in a different way. So that looking at things, I might look at numbers, or I might look at calendar view, timeline view. So that it's it's another way of looking at things. It's not better, but different. It's not showing the same things, even though it's the same information in the database, right? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And 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 we shouldn't have to pick the the the, the point for you. you. You should be the one uh, selecting it. So you will mm -hmm. be able to add as many tab views as you wish. Okay, is this, make, yeah. is this making sense? Absolute. No, it so, looks good. Uh, really nice. <laughs> so this is um, this is what we target for. Uh, so I'm going to stop this from spinning. And um, this is uh, if we go back to the target. Um, this is uh, probably February, right? Okay. So. Uh, uh, February, March, depending on the last one. So this is a uh, custom views December. Uh, custom view comes custom project report with specific widget uh, January and and the rest of February, March, depending on on how fast we go. Okay. Okay. Um, it's time for questions. What do you think? No, it uh, looks really good. Not, not at the moment. It's impressive to see, um, and uh, it's a good outlook um, to to have the chance to do this. What you mentioned. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. At, at the moment, very strict. You have really to to follow uh, the, the map uh, you, you got uh, in BZ today, and with this, you can make your your workflow the way you maybe prefer. Exactly. Exactly. So this is a good key to to come closer. Exactly. Yeah, uh, is that exactly our point in uh, by doing this? Is that uh, instead of uh, uh, us uh, imposing on you the way you you should interact with information, uh, you will be in charge of uh, setting your own workflow in the tool uh, with a tool that should be able to adapt to not all situation but pretty much most of them. 
So here it is. Uh, I hope that it gives some uh, some sense of uh, why you should spend some time in busy. Do not hesitate to send me emails uh, with questions if you have, and I, I'll be glad to answer and discuss this with you. Bye.